what about the white blood cell count, the white blood cells? What do uh, they tell you? All right, white blood cells are infection fighting and immune system related cells, you might say. And so normal white blood cell count would be? Somewhere between about four and a half and maybe up to 10. Do you, do you have different white blood cells? Do you have just, what do you have? Yes, uh, you only have one type of red blood cell, but you have several white blood cells. We call the neutrophils, which are the main infection fighting cells. And then there's lymphocytes, which also are infection fighting and immune system related. And then a couple that are not as common, monocytes and eosinophils. So if somebody has an infection and the white blood cell count is low, does it make you think of anything? Well, <coughs> yes, it can be a, a clue as to what type of infection. A viral infection will oftentimes suppress the white blood cells and they'll go down some. So a normal white blood cell count would be what? Normal is, I'd like to say, four and a half up to 10. So if it was a viral infection, it would be at the lower level, four well, and a half, or would it go down to three? Could be either, and, uh, but that's the, the typical thing with a virus is the white blood cell count will stay low. And you may see more lymphocytes in a situation like that. Bacterial infection, somebody's got a bacterial pneumonia, yeah. fever, chills, don't feel good. Yeah, that is a case where we typically see the white blood cell count go up. It may be above 10,000, maybe twice, you know, maybe 20,000 or more. And we typically see the neutrophils go up because they fight bacterial infections. So looking at the white blood cell count, it can guide you toward knowing how to treat the patient. It's sort of a guide Absolutely. type situation. White blood cell count tell you anything else? Sure, uh, white blood cell count can give you clues as to the underlying conditions, maybe cancers, maybe leukemias, for example.